Hey guys, it's Avery Carl with the Short Term Shop, and today I'm going to teach you how to use our Short Term Rental Income Estimator so that you can figure out what the return should be on any short term rental pretty quickly. So we are going to use a property that I already own as an example, so we don't have to ask anyone any permission. This is rented as a two bedroom in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. It is technically a one bedroom with an open loft second bedroom, but it's normal around here to rent these properties as a two bed. As you can see, it's a cute, nice place to stay, but it's nothing too fancy. So we're gonna use this one. I would list this today for a purchase price of probably $475,000. So we will use that as our uh, price point. And for rental data, we are going to use the air dna uh, data for the smoky mountains we have found that self-managed properties typically hit the 75th percentile numbers so we are going to use the two bedroom 75th percentile gross income number of 63,605. we actually did a little bit better than that on this property this past year but we will use that to be conservative so we'll come over here to our cash flow calculator and a property of that size should have a minimum of 80 percent occupancy rate something like that will actually hit closer to 90 but again we are being conservative so at 80 percent 63,000 puts us at about 220 dollars a night which gives us a gross monthly operating income of 5,280 I'm going to leave this property management toggle at zero because I am a self manager. CapEx, I'll put it about 1% and maintenance at about 1%. Booking fees, we will leave at 3% because we get most of our bookings from Airbnb and they charge a 3% booking fee. I spend about 150 bucks a month on supplies, about 125 bucks, sorry. 150 bucks a month on electricity. I do not have any gas or propane. All of my appliances, heat, and uh, our fireplace are electric, so no gas. Water and sewer. In this market, it's really typical to be on a well. This property is on a well. I include the well maintenance in this maintenance number here. It's about 50 bucks every other month sometimes less than that even just to get the well filter changed so no monthly cost for water and sewer about 125 bucks a month for cable and internet i pay 50 dollars a month for pest control this property is not in an hoa the property taxes in tennessee and sevier county are very 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 low so this is not a typical number that you're going to see across the board in other states but in this market very low and insurance about 100 bucks a month so that gives us monthly expenses of 910 dollars and an annual net operating income of fifty two thousand dollars four hundred fifty two thousand four hundred forty dollars sorry financing so remember i said i would list this thing at 475 most people use that 10 percent down vacation home loan whoops and uh, definitely check with your lender on the rules about that. Make sure you're following the rules, but we're going to use this 10% down. So 47500 Closing costs are going to be around 7500 on that. Check with your lender on what those would be for you. Mortgage term, 30 years. Right now, interest rates aren't too bad. We'll put it at about 32 this gives you a total initial investment of $55,000. So that is your 10%, $47,500 plus your $7,500 in closing costs. Gives you a monthly mortgage payment based on the terms you entered of $1,848 a month and your total annual debt service at $22,186 a year. So now come down here, check out the cash flow, about 2,500 bucks a month after everything, uh, thirty, which brings you to about $30,000 a year 
cash on cash return 55 percent and a cap rate of 11.04 so that is not too bad uh if you guys have any questions hit me in the comments or email me at info at the short -term thanks later guys